Efficiency of marketing activities. Every company is using plenty of different marketing activities, channels to get the customers. Most popular, obviously, blog. Uh, some of them are also using Udemy to get customers. Google AdWords, YouTube, and affiliate are among the most popular ones. Um, a lot of companies are using Facebook ads on Facebook activities like uh, fan page and uh, Facebook groups. Some are using also events organized uh, by them, office hours and cold calling. One of the ways to um, improve the results of the company is to identify the channels uh, with the biggest potential and with the biggest profitability. In order to do this, you have to look at two things. One is the lifetime value of the customers brought from certain marketing activities, marketing channel, and then the cost of acquiring it from this channel. Let's have a look at the analysis done in Excel. Now, the analysis done in Excel should look more or less like this. So here we have the activities, then we have the cost, the leads generated by each and every one of them, um, the number of customers acquired, so not all leads turn into the customer acquired. Then on the basis of this, we calculate the, the cost of acquiring a, a customer. We should have data on the lifetime value of the customer. And on the basis of this, we can see which one is efficient. Before we go into it, let's have a look. Calculation for two specific channels, and then we're gonna go back to the efficiency analysis. So content marketing block, here we have five, four position. Uh, so first of all, we should have taken account, into account the cost of producing posts and podcasts because this is the, the content we are using on our blog. Distribution cost, so the, the cost of bringing people and convincing them to, to read the, the blog and software we use for blogging. So as you can see, the, the total are 46,000. Most of them are due to the distribution and the cost of posts. Now, when we look at the details, we can see that the cost of producing posts, they actually consist of two positions. One is writing and the other one is preparing graphics for posts. Writing, calculate on the basis of number of posts and hour per post uh, needed to prepare it. And as well, the cost of one hour of the person who is preparing them. We have uh, 240 posts per year. On average, one takes five hours to prepare. And then the cost of hour is uh, 10,000. And this makes into 12,000 euro per year. The graphics are 4,000. The formula is roughly the same. The only thing we need to add is the graphics per post. So we, we need to have two graphics per post. This we don't put by hand. This is actually sucked into from the cell G6 and that's why it's in white. Then when we go to the podcast, it's roughly the same. So we have recording and editing uh, of the recordings. And um, then this depends on the number of podcasts, which is 52, two hours per one podcast and 20 euro per, per hour of the people involved in production of the podcast, uh, the, re the recording. And then we have the editing, which is calculated here. In the distribution cost, we have two, let's say, sub position. One is person responsible for distribution. And the second one are Facebook ads. So for Facebook ads, we spent 24,000, which is 2,000 per month for 12 months. And then two people for this responsible for distribution. In this case, it means calling uh, some organization which would share our content. Then also putting into the Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, etc. And then we have also how much time they devote. So as we can see, it's two people, but they actually spent half so 80 hours per month and then we have also eight hours now let's go to the conference costs so conference cost it's a conference organized by, by us so here we have uh, the renting of the venue catering project management youtube advertising of the events the same for facebook uh, we also have some cold calling and the costs of speakers the biggest uh, cost position is actually cost of speakers and then the, the project management and coordination uh, and renting as a cold calling they constitute also a significant portion of the costs when we go into details it basically in most cases depends on the number of days and the cost per day uh, like it is in the case of renting the venue catering project management we have a monthly cost and number of people as well as the cost per month per person so we have two people for four months uh, and each and every one costs three thousand which generates twenty four thousand of euros for the whole project youtube advertising it is again the number of months and uh, the budget we've got per month in the case of facebook advertising we have number of months and the budget per month in the case of cold calling we have number of months number of people and cost per month 
Uh, in the case of hotels, we have number of people we gonna host, how many dates we gonna host them, and cost per day. In the case of speakers, number of speakers, and cost of speakers. So in this manner, we calculate each and every method. As you can see, for the cost of each and every position, we have a separate sheet, and uh, the structure are roughly the same. Now, the other thing is the leads. So the number of people who, in our case, subscribe to our lists and are within our reach. And here we have, through conversion, the number of customers. So what we get out of this, we get actually that uh, when we look at the, the cost of acquisition and we compare it to LTV, so we have this ratio, the, the only really good methods are content marketing and the Facebook ads using the lead magnet. Quite good are uh, third party conferences, Facebook ads where we use native advertising, Udemy course, cold calling, affiliate program, uh, and Google AdWords. Really bad are the YouTube channel. Let's look at the efficiency of the market. So here we use the, the ratio of cost of acquiring a customer and uh, LTV. And as you can see, we have two good methods. Uh, one of them is content marketing and the other one is Facebook ads, lead magnet, email. And then again, we have two really poor ones which in our case is YouTube channel called calling and the third one being the conference organized by uh, us. And as we can see, we spend 31% on them and they just generate 10% of our uh, customers. In the case of the, the conference organized by, by us and the cold calling, we actually spend more on them than we ever get from them. So this is actually we are burning here the money, uh, even if, if we consider lifetime value. So the first thing you should do is see whether we can improve those methods and make them better in a sense of like lowering this ratio. So in this case, it means either lowering the cost of acquiring or increasing the lifetime value of the customer. In the meantime, we should probably change the allocation of the marketing cost, marketing budget, and we should go more into the uh, more vision methods like content marketing, and uh, Facebook ads, lead magnet, email. And we should for sure improve the efficiency of the other methods. As always, look at the capacity for every channel. So it might be that the content marketing is a great method, but actually the capacity for this, it is decreasing or that there's hardly any capacity in the sense of like, we cannot do more posts, for example, or we cannot go into new platforms. One technical remark. Here we wanted to calculate the, the weighted average lifetime value uh, for the customers. And uh, in order to do that, we use the formula, which is called a sum of product, which basically takes the lifetime values of the customers per channel, uses the number of customers acquired. So we multiply each and every of them, and then we sum them. And at the end, we divide by the total sum of acquired customers because the average would not take into account the different number of customers acquired by different methods. You will find this file attached to the lecture.